Well, the thinking behind it was because we had been looking at solar, pan solar energy for a long time, researched it, had been going to look at wind, all different sources of power. And then when we moved and we came over here, solar PV looked an interesting option. So because we're actually, as you can see, getting on in years also, our pensions weren't that brilliant. And so we thought, well, how maybe our, our property could help us with our, with our income because the income that we could get could supplement that, pe that pension income. So we went along to a local show and we found um, a supplier who came along, but it wasn't really a very good experience at all to start with. I don't think the first time we could have got it more wrong. We had a very pushy salesman. We had a, uh, an install that didn't work. We sent several, spent several months trying to get, our, um, get the panels removed and our money back. And so it wasn't until um, very probably the beginning of, end of, well, middle of November, when we had got our money uh, coming back, we decided we'd better do something about it because at that stage, the government had decided to change the, uh, the tariffs. So a friend of ours mentioned um, 2020 heating. And as you can imagine, after our experience, we were more than a bit worried, defensive, um, questioned them like crazy. Uh, because we, after having got our deposit back, had to fight for our deposit through trading standards and that the first time, we were really, really worried. Um, so, but above everything, we still believed that this could be a way of supplementing our pension and our income, well, our income in retirement. So... There's lots of other people's systems worked. Lots of people who helped us during our fight said, well, their systems worked. So just because ours didn't, didn't mean to say that we wouldn't eventually get one that would. So we contacted Peter and his colleague Vince and they came out and well, the panels from the previous company were removed on the Thursday night and by a week on the Friday, like eight days later, we actually had a working system. We couldn't believe it. One that when we actually, uh, when the sun came up in the morning and the, and the, um, the system started to turn on, it didn't turn our electric off. We'd spent nigh on three months not being able to turn the old system on because it didn't work. It cut our electric off. It did all sorts of things. A, a firm that didn't know what they were doing and kept coming back and trying to do things till in the end we called time on them and it took trading standards and the um, regulatory bodies to get the money back. And so you can, dip, you can imagine, how after going through that, having months of distress, and then suddenly in one week, we'd got a system that worked, didn't turn our electric off, is generating beautifully. We're all registered and everything with British Gas was soon put in the first energy read reading. I mean, it's, it's brilliant. Um, thank you, Peter.